So you're probably asking why I have this bag of ice on my face. And you know why? Because my freaking wisdom tooth. Like seriously, I'm 26 years old and I'm dealing with wisdom teeth. Like I thought I was over this when I got done taking my Flintstone vitamins. What is this? And here's the thing, not only is it growing, but it has to be removed. I'm not even mad about it having to be removed. I'm mad about the fact that they have to knock me out, which means that it's gonna cost me even more money. Now, if it was up to me, and before I was saved, all I need is two shots of Henny and a Four loco, and I'd be knocked out for three days straight off of $5. I used to do this for play play, but I digress, let's keep moving forward. I personally am annoyed by this pain because I get nothing from it. Like seriously, when I was a kid, I looked forward to losing teeth. I would do anything to get rid of my teeth. I'd be sitting in class all day with my tongue on my tooth, trying to find one that just seemed like it was just a little bit loose. And I go home and I try to do anything to get it out. I'm talking biting apples. I'm talking about tying it to doorknobs. I'm talking about some Johnny Knoxville stuff that my mom would never approve of. But I would do anything to get it out. But now, I would do anything to keep my teeth in. Like seriously, I want them to stay put. Like I would enjoy the aspect of putting a tooth under the pillow. Cause I do, I get something, 25 cent, a dollar. And you know, when life was good, I get $5. I would make something happen. But now if I put my wisdom tooth under my pillow, all I'm gonna get is a bill. But here's what gets me about wisdom teeth. It's crazy how they could be lying dormant the whole time in my mouth. And then all of a sudden, they're just right there. But wisdom teeth just haven't all of a sudden just popped up. They've always been there. And the thing about it is, they're now just starting to appear because some things in your mouth have shifted. How many times in our life do we experience a pain that seems to have no purpose and have no point? Like our wisdom teeth. Like seriously, God, I've been doing all right with the teeth I have in my mouth. I've been eating good. I don't need any more teeth and I seriously don't need any more pain. But the awesome thing is when wisdom teeth grow incorrectly, nothing has to be changed. They just fit right in. They just cause everything around it to shift. But if you're like me, my wisdom teeth are coming in completely wrong. I'm talking sideways, throwing up gang signs, like seriously. And it's causing my teeth to shift because they're never going to be able to break through the way that they're supposed to. So we have to be wise and we have to know when to allow something to stay and cause a shift and also know when something's not growing correctly we have to extract it before it causes any more damage your life can only handle what you're built for so you have to assess yourself you have to assess the relationships that you're in because there may be some things in your life that it's just time for extraction you can't let things sit when you know that it's not helping you grow and it's actually damaging you but with even that some things that are causing you pain right now you can actually allow to keep growing because it's not going to do anything but make Make you shift it's gonna make you uncomfortable it's gonna make you have a little bit of pain but it's only there to help you grow everything that's happening in your life is meant for a reason and like I always say stop taking and start giving and if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you'll always know when we drop a new video so have a great day have a blessed week and stay in touch